Getting paid in Fiverr just got easier. Learn how to set up your payment method. So in this video, we're going to be walking you through setting up your favorite payment method step by step. So to get started, there's a few prerequisites you need to understand, which is just having a Fiverr account. So here, um, um, back here into Fiverr payment method, you can easily uh, withdraw your earnings. So to get started, first of all, what I need to do is to sign in with my actual account. Once you're assigned an end, you want to make sure that you are choosing the option that says switched to selling. If you don't have a seller account, you can of course focus here into the upper side. And here should be having this huge button that says become a seller. In my case, I have become a seller, so I think I don't have to do this part of the video. So we can now take my time and focus now into adding a payment method. If this is your situation, you can always check out our videos directly into our YouTube channel of how you can create an actual business portfolio or a creator account here for the Fiverr account. Now, let's go here, for example, here into uh, the dashboard of the Fiverr account. Let's go into the upper right side. And here, let's type the word uh, billing and payments. Now here in the billing and payments, we have the billing history. Here is the billing info, the balances, the payment method, and the ongoing payments. Now here are the payment method. These are the recurring payments deducted from the default payment method. If they are not available funds for the power of balance, we can change the default payment method. That means that if I choose to add a payment method, this is how I am gonna be paying for the actual payments that I have uh, done so far. So let's go directly here into your business and we can focus now into your earnings. Directly here into the earnings, we can add the option that says add payout method. Here into the add payout method, this is the way of how we can receive the money. But as you can see, there are a few uh, information about how we can actually get started. So here uh, we have the Payoneer account, the bank transfer, and the PayPal account. All of them have a few fees, so make sure that you have selected the best solution for it. For example, let's say that I go for a PayPal account, which is the most convenient, most faster way. Let's go for continue, and you want to add the email, in my case, of my PayPal account, and the verification of my code. So this is totally, once again, optional. And basically, your payments should be appearing automatically. So, um, if you want, of course, to set up a, a Fiverr revenue card, this is for the list and get started, you'll be redacted to the pay on your registration page. But I don't recommend you this because the Fiverr is not longer working with revenue cards. So, if you're still working with revenue accounts, I can strongly suggest you to use a new payment method because in the future, this one is no longer going to be working up. Now, just if you prefer a bank transfer, click into the option that says add payment method choose to add a bank transfer and to fill your account details including the IVAN or the SWIFT code. So all the fiber partners with Pioneer for secure browsing, so you might need it to verify your uh, Pioneer account as well. So um, you can verify and test your payments once you have done all of those processed. So this can take a few hours to, or a couple of days, depending on the method after the verification, the withdrawal, a small amount to test and ensure everything works smoothly. Once again, it's gonna be really, really important that you have to make sure that your account is verified to don't have any kind of issues in the future. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. You now know how to do this process. Once again, just in case you have any question here into the upper side, the Fiverr has a help solution center. We can be helping you to uh, deal with this issue just in case you have really different concerns about your account or something like won't uh, gone wrong. So thank you once again for watching this video, guys. And hopefully with all this being said, we can all see you next time.